So before starting off this video, I'd love to thank Relable for sponsoring this entire three series. We need experienced candidates. How many times has this sentence shattered your dream to work in a good company or a job description which requires experience? You won't ever have to listen to the sentence ever again. If you use a platform like Relable by Unacademy, it conducts a test which is completely based on skills and you need to perform in your chosen field. Relable has around 1000 plus job openings by 50 plus top Indian companies and unicorn startups. What you need to do is you just need to register for this test, apply on the test and after that your interview will be scheduled and you will be hired. And the best thing about this is the Relable tests are free and you can check out all the links in the description below. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So today we will be starting off with binary search trees. Now the prerequisite before starting this playlist is you should definitely have seen the binary tree playlist. You should be knowing what is a in order traversal. I have taught that in binary tree. You should be knowing what is a pre order traversal. You should be knowing what is a post order traversal and you should be knowing what is a level order traversal. These four techniques and the binary tree playlist should have been completed before starting off with the binary search tree. So I'll be leaving the link of the binary tree playlist in the description. Make sure you check that out before starting off with this playlist. What is a binary search tree? How is that different from binary tree? In binary tree, uh, it doesn't matter what node was on the left, what node was on the right, right? In binary tree, it never mattered. In binary search tree, it matters. This left guy, this right guy, like if this is the node, this left guy should be lesser than the node. Very, very important. It should be lesser than the node. And this right guy should be greater than the node. That's what a binary search tree signifies. Everything on the left, yes, I repeat, everything on the left should be lesser than the node's value and everything on the right should be greater than the node's value. You cannot say it should be equal to like, there is, there is no presence of equal to in any case. Now, let's understand uh, this uh, binary tree, like why is this a binary search tree? So if you carefully see, uh, we have an 8 over here, okay? And if you see everything on the left, like 3, 1, 6, 4, 7, everything's lesser than 8. You have 10, 14, 13 on the right. Uh, that's actually uh, greater than 8. So everything on the right is greater. Now, there's one more condition. The entire left subtree, I repeat, the entire left subtree should in itself be a BST and the entire right subtree should in itself also be a BST. That's also very, very important. Okay. So as you can see, this is another subtree, right? This is another subtree. So if I say this is the node, the left guy is one, which is smaller than three. The right guy is six, which is greater than three. Again, this is a subtree. So this four is smaller than six. The seven is uh, greater than six. Again, this entire thing is a subtree. So this is a 10. The 14 is uh, greater than 10. And this 13 is smaller than 14. So each subtree should be a BST and the entire tree should also be a BST. So I can say that uh, this is the first condition. The left should be uh, smaller than the node and the right should be greater than the node. And the left subtree should itself be a BST. That means again, it should follow this condition. The right subtree should again be a BST. That means again, it should follow this condition. So that's that's overall the definition of binary search tree. Now you might ask me, now Striver, what if, uh, are duplicates allowed? That's a question uh, that you can ask. Are duplicates allowed in binary search tree? Now, ideally duplicates are not allowed, but if you go through a lot of books, like in some books uh, in MIT's lecture, they say that, okay, like for general implementation, we will take that duplicates are not allowed. But, but what if we want to have duplicates? There can be a couple of ways uh, in order to integrate that. Okay, one of that is let's assume in this binary search tree we have a couple of eights. Okay, and I want to implement a binary search tree. Then we will slightly change the condition to something as like I'll just make it L greater than or equal to N and I can keep it as greater than R. So I'll just slightly modify the condition of binary search tree to be like this if I want duplicates. Ideally, there will be no duplicates just in case I want duplicates. Now, what I'll do is if there are a couple of eights, I'll put one eight here. 
I'll just make sure I have one more node. Okay, I've just one more node uh, like this and that will work. So I'll just add one more left node and from eight, then I'll elongate three. That can be one of the ways to do it. Or the other ways is like we are storing a single node, right? Eight. We can probably have a counter or something like that. And we can say eight happens, uh, eight happens to occur twice. Like we can have node comma frequencies in order to determine how many times uh, eight appears. Now, everything that depends on a programmatic implementation, but ideally we will go off with without duplicates. But if there are duplicates, then we can either integrate another node or we can have node comma frequency stored in a single node in order to maintain a counter of every variable that occurs. So that's these are the conditions. Now the next question that you will ask is why binary search tree and why not something like BT is followed. Now, if you have seen my binary tree playlist, a binary tree can be like this, right? One and then we can have a left pointer to two, then we can have a left pointer to three, and this can go on, right? And if I take such a tree, that's basically degenerate tree. And I can say the length of the tree, the length of the tree appears to be B go of N, right? And if you do any traversal, be it pre-order, be it in order, be it any traversal, the time complexity will end up being B go of N, like any search time complexity. In binary search tree, generally, generally, I'm not saying always, Generally, in a binary search tree, all the heights, heights of the tree are log n. Like if you carefully observe, if you carefully observe, this is not a degenerate tree. This is not a degenerate tree. So the height of the binary tree is generally kept as log base to n. Again, it's not a necessity, but in almost all the cases, the questions that we will be doing everywhere, the height is always log base to n, okay? So the height is always kept as log base to n. Why if you uh, carefully observe, like generally that's the case, the height between left subtree and right subtree is kept as minimal as possible. And we make sure that the height doesn't exceed log base to n. Why is it kept log n? In the next lecture, when we learn about search in BST, uh, you will understand that because search in BT is big of n traversal, right? If you do a search in binary tree, that will take you a big of n because you have to do an entire in order or a pre order or a post order or a level order in order to uh, find out any node x. But we can do that uh, in login in binary search tree only because, only because I'll give you a hint, only because if you carefully observe, if I'm looking to find x equal to 6, I don't have to actually traverse the entire tree. I know this is not equivalent to six. So I end up moving left because six is smaller than eight. I end up moving left. So it's kind of a binary search. You know, uh, everything to the right of eight is greater than eight. So six can never appear on the right. So binary search, right? It can always appear on the left three. Three is not equivalent to six. Will it be on the left or right? Definitely on the right. So left, it will never be there. So we go to the right. That's kind of a binary search that we do. That's why the name comes up binary search tree because we know either it appears on the left or on the right as simple as that so i hope you've understood the entire explanation as well as the code just in case you did please 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 make sure you like this video because it took a lot of efforts to uh, make this entire tree series also if you wish you can definitely drop in a comment that will keep motivating me to make such further series also, if you're new to the channel, please do consider subscribing because I'm going to bring in such more series in the upcoming future as well. With this, uh, let's wrap up this video. Let's meet in the next lecture. Bye-bye. Take care.